Well, it is that time of year. I just love to make buffalo wings for the Super Bowl. I love to make all kinds of little appetizers. I honestly don't really watch the football game that much. I just try to focus on getting those little munchies out to the family and friends. And so today I picked up my ingredients from a grocery store called Aldi and some from my garden. So what we'll need, of course, are some chicken wings and then some all-purpose flour along with a couple of cloves of garlic and some cornstarch. You'll also need some oil, some butter, and some brown sugar. Either light brown sugar or dark brown sugar will be fine. And for our spices, we'll need some salt and pepper, some hot sauce that I made from the garden, or you can also pick up some at Aldi, along with some paprika. Um, I made mine, and mine, I'm using a smoked paprika, but I think Aldi carries just a regular paprika. And then I like to use a little bit of extra cayenne pepper just to kick up the heat a little bit. And also feel free to use a little bit of garlic powder too if you have some on hand. And so we'll start by breaking down the chicken wings. And I find that it's easy just to kind of go in at an angle right through that joint. And so you'll cut apart the wing and then the little drumette, and you can discard the tip or save them to make some chicken stock later and then just go ahead and put these right on a little cookie cooling rack put the thick skin side up you'll notice that one side will be th really thin skin and, and the other side will be thick and then we'll just pat them dry and what we're going to do is dry brine the chicken wings so now we'll season them and I like to use salt and pepper along with a little smoked paprika and even garlic powder if you have it and season them generously and then you can just pop them in your refrigerator you can do this the night before you plan to cook them the next day and I like to make the sauce ahead of time and, and then just rewarm it when I get ready to sauce the wings. So in a little saucepan here, we'll melt a couple of tablespoons of butter. This is unsalted butter with a couple of good pinches of salt. And I'll have the measurements down below the video. And then add your hot sauce and then the brown sugar, the cayenne pepper along with the smoked paprika, and then the minced garlic. And we want to let this cook on about medium heat for at least 10 minutes and let that garlic really release its flavor into the sauce. And after about 10 minutes of cooking, you can transfer it to a little mason jar where you can store it in your refrigerator for game day. And now it's time for the big game. I actually like to do this a few hours ahead of time so that I'm not trying to do all this during the game. And so in a little bag here, I'm adding a half a cup of all-purpose flour along with a half a cup of cornstarch. That cornstarch will give us the crispiness we're looking for and the flour will give us that color that we also want on our wings. So just take your dry brined wings and we'll just coat them in the flour cornstarch mixture, transfer them back onto your sheet where we'll let them sit out at room temperature while we get our oil heated up. We're just going to shallow fry these this time. So just get your oil at around 375 degrees Fahrenheit and that oil will drop down in temperature as we add our wings. I like to use a little splash screen just in case it starts to, you know, splatter out on me, especially when you're shallow frying. And so we'll cook these for about five minutes on one side and about five minutes on the other side. And I am constantly just checking the oil with my little laser thermometer. It's a non-contact thermometer which tests the surface temperature. So I like to use that just to make sure that oil is staying at around 350. And so it's really convenient, I think, to use that. So once they start to get some good color on them and you've been cooking them about, oh, 10 minutes, go ahead and transfer those over to a clean cookie cooling rack and then just continue to cook the rest. I try not to cook too many at one time just so that it doesn't lower the oil temperature too much. So now you can store those in the refrigerator for a few hours until it's time to serve them. So when you're ready to serve them, just go ahead and reheat some of that sauce uh, for just a few minutes to get it nice and hot. And then after that is warm, just 
put that to the side and now we can get our oil warm because we're going to refry the chicken wings so make sure it's back up to about 370 and make sure your wings have been out of the refrigerator for about 20 minutes before you put them in this oil so it they'll fry up nicely okay so go ahead and you can put all these back in the pan and remove those just like we did before they'll be nice and crispy and warmed through and of course you can do all this fresh right there while the bowl is going on I just think it's easier to um, do a lot of this ahead of time and then just toss them in that sauce and they are good to go I love to eat mine with blue cheese dressing. Then some people, my husband likes a little bit of celery, so you feel free to serve it with whatever you like. And I hope you can give it a try. And thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a beautiful day.